So, hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. So, the big news today is that Pro Tools 10 got uh, released. And I seriously don't see why. Because uh, they actually came up with Pro Tools 9, like... Um, November last year? So that makes it, like, less than a year old. And the uh, fucking upgrade is like 300 bucks, which is ridiculous. And most likely the euro price is 300 euros, so I'm, I'm not like <laughs> liking this at all. But anyway, uh, let's go through the new features that they listed on the website. So, what is new? Clip gain. What the fuck? That has been in Cubase since I first downloaded the product in like I don't know, 10 years ago maybe they should have done it a bit faster you know I'll show you an example so what is basically the new clip gain feature in Pro Tools is same as this you drag up and down the volume and that's it okay let's get back uh, to where we were Use multiple audio formats in session, including interleave without file duplication. Don't really care about that. I was totally fine like working with different formats. And um, record and um, uh, master higher resolution with more headroom in 32 bit 14 point format. Don't really care about that because, as far as I know, none of the Interfaces that are in the market today cannot record in 32 bit. So, great responsiveness on a slower hard drives with enhanced disk handler. Okay, that's a cool feature, but like still. Um, record in low latency mode with direct monitoring when using third party audio, audio interfaces. Come on, that has been in every fucking like a uh, door since the beginning of time and get the sound of system 5 console EQ and dynamics with Ovid channel street plugin so they are bringing exactly one new plugin which is basically just bundling a bunch of their current EQs and compressors into one and uh, get access to over 500 additional Pro Tools commands when using Yukon control. Doesn't affect me in any way. And, um, work more easily with audio suit rendered clips with reverse processing handles and more. Um, okay. Uh, looks like there's a video about it, but I won't go through that. If you are really interested, go check out the Avid website. Create extra long format projects for sequential version the extended 24 hour timeline what the fuck uh, open fade heavy session faster and get better responsiveness with real time fades so this just remove the fade files which is a cool thing but they could have done that like 10 versions ago export mix directly to soundcloud to share and promote your music the world what the fuck like it takes one extra minute to upload to soundcloud plus they have a new format which is called AX uh, which is uh, avid audio extensions which is uh, actually replacing uh, TDM and RTAS which is kind of cool uh, but the bad thing is that the door is still not 64 bit, only one new plugin, 300 bucks for the upgrade, and uh, not impressed. Should have been 9.1. I just uh, checked out Avid's website again, and I noticed actually that uh, they have a 64 page long PDF. What is new in Pro Tools 10? So, uh, I actually guess that it might be worth the new number, but still the main features are still really 
minimal to the normal users they are really specific ones like uh, except for the uh, clip group thing and uh, there's new increased track counts in the HD systems you can link 12 of them together I mean the 12 HD systems which is cool for guys like recording symphonic orchestras maybe and uh, and maybe Hans Zimmer but that's about the guys who need more than two systems like they have uh, one two three four five six pages uh, that are explaining new mixing features and enhancements solo and mute status indicators in the edit window is one page automation follows edit indicator second page sync status indicators in the edit window pass in uh, interrogation I don't know what that means support for 12 systems with satellite link so they, are, they seem really cool features in the end but um, they are really not um, and they also brought the new HDX card that uh, gives you four times more uh, what, what's, what is it called? Uh, delay compensation and you can get even more tracks and uh, processing power I think it was five times more powerful than the Axel cards but anyway what do you think? Is the new Pro Tools 10 update worth it? I think not. But anyway, thank you for watching and make good music. The new plugins that they have is uh, the new AX plugin format, native and DSP plugin insert processing, uh, Avid Channel 3 plugin, Avid Down Mixer plugin, Mod Delay 3, Auto Suit Improvements, and Pro Tools plugin Marketplace. Uh, I guess that's some new thing. I'll go check it out. A Pro Tools 10 provides a marketplace option for plugins in the insert selection and the audio suit menu. This lets you find plugins in the Avid online store for rent or purchase. Okay. Uh, to browse plugins for rent or purchase in the Avid online store, do one of the following things. From the insert selection for plugins, native systems or DSP plugins or native plugins, produce HD systems, so choose Avid Marketplace. From the audio suit menu, choose Avid Marketplace, choose Marketplace plugins. So they are basically integrating their online store to Pro Tools. Fuck that shit.